am on my way to visit or to babysit my daughter. And uh, I got up early, didn't put on any makeup but lipstick, so here I am. Kind of embarrassing, but I always like to talk to you guys, especially in the morning and while I'm driving. And I want to share with you today about the born again seed and what that means. I got this revelation the other day and I was just so excited about it, I couldn't wait to share it with you. And I never really thought about it this way before, but the Word of God says that you are born again by uncorruptible seed. And if you ever thought about that, what does that mean? What does it mean born again by uncorruptible seed? Well, Jesus is called the Word of God and the Word is seed. There's uh, the sower sows the seed that um, that Bible parable and then there's some other parables about uh, Jesus is the vine and we're the branches and there's lots of parables about seeds and, and fruit but we're born again by incorruptible seeds so I think that's really cool because what that means is everything that the word is we have inside of us so when we're born again we're born again by incorruptible seed in other words we have word seed in us so everything the word is we are capable of it's inside of us it's not that we have to earn it or do good or do right but we have that seed in us and it's uncorruptible so the word of god says that everything god has given us everything that we need for life and godliness and he gave us the amount of faith that we need to do greater works than him he gave us the amount of word that we need word see the amount of faith that we need to um, do everything Jesus did to walk in the supernatural like he did and when we walk when we learn more about the word then the word grows because we got word seed in us when it goes from our spirit into our brain and our, our spirit begins to produce it we have word seed so I just want to share with you that I don't know if I'm really saying it in a way that you can understand but I just wanted to share with you um, the fact that we are born again by incorruptible seed, which is the Word of God. So we have Word seed in us, so we can produce a harvest of anything the Word says that we have. We have because we have Word seed in us, and Word seed is in us to produce fruit. So God is not keeping us from walking in the supernatural, from experiencing the supernatural, from having great faith, or from health or healing or, or anything that he provided for us he gave us the word seed in us which is uncorruptible and to produce a harvest so I hope you kind of get a, look, a hold of that revelation and have understanding how powerful it is to be born again by uncorruptible word seed seed is always meant to grow and produce a harvest so when we speak the word of God we're producing the fruit of our lips is producing what we say in our life because we're born again our spirit is born by seed word seed and so the words of our mouth create our future so if you want your future to change do an experiment and speak different words and if you agree with what God's Word says about you then you're going to have what you say the Word of God word seed inside of you growing and producing a harvest <clears throat> I've written two books on this because it's so exciting and so important that you can change your future with the words of your mouth. I did an experiment, it's called the Rice Experiment. And you can do this experiment too. If you go on YouTube and you check out, if you type in the Rice Experiment with a twist, you'll see the Rice Experiment I did by speaking words. And basically what I did, and it is awesome, and it was life-changing for my whole church actually. What I did was I boiled brown rice because I happen to have brown rice I let it cool down I put three I got three equal containers the same size with a lid small ones and I put like a big tablespoon of each cooled rice in each of the containers I let it all cool down then I put a lid on it then I took these containers and I labeled it one I labeled hate the other label other one I labeled love and the third one I labeled ignore and so for 31 days you're supposed to do this but I got excited on 28 days and I just kept on doing it and what I did was all three were in the same place in a dark spot I took one of them out and walked into another room and I said listen to me rice you 
are not saved, Rice. You are, I said, the things that some pastors say, you are going to hell, Rice. You better get down here and repent, Rice. Nobody loves you. You're not valuable, Rice. And I said, hate stuff. Um, not just anything, but I specifically said the stuff that the pastors say that don't believe that about grace and that you are saved and and that you don't lose it tomorrow and the next day when you do something wrong. But I said, you are on your way to hell, Rice. Uh, you are condemned. You better repent. You are worthless. You are a sinner. And then I put that rice away. Then I got the rice on, that was labeled love. And I took that rice and I walked into another room and I said, oh, rice, you are loved. You are valuable. You are saved. God loves you so much. He, he, he loves you so much that he saved you. You are valuable. You are created in the image of Christ. You are special. You are great rice. And I took that rice and I put it back in the room, wherever all the other rice was. And then I took the other rice that said ignored, and I just ignored it. I didn't pick it up. I didn't touch it. I didn't move it. I just left it there. And I did this <clears throat> once a day for about 10 seconds each. 10 seconds, I'd speak to the, the hate rice. 10 seconds, I'd speak to the love rice. 10 10, 15 seconds, I would speak to this rice. 10, 15 seconds, I would speak to this rice. And if you go to the video, you'll see pictures of the rice. The rice that I spoke hateful words to had this little black round ball, like a tumor, little ugly round black ball growing on it. The rice that I ignored turned totally black. And the rice that I spoke loving stuff to turned uh, stayed pure white and um, after 21 day, 28 days I was so excited I didn't wait till 30 days after 28 days I opened the rice I filmed it I videotaped it um, so it's called the, the rice experiment with a twist share it with your friends share this video with your friends and it was amazing it was amazing and this was 10 seconds of hateful words or 10 seconds of negative words and now we have the seed the word of God in us we're born again joined to God one spirit by the word of God and seeds in our words of our mouth and so if we're if we do an experiment with ourselves for 10 seconds every day we decree declare or confess out loud what the word of God says to us for example this is my little confession booklet I reprint it every day this is how that Kingdom Confessions booklet that I sell, it's got a purple cover. This is where it came from. I would make confession booklets like this every day. Well, I put a whole bunch of it together and made a book. It's called, po it's pocket size. It's small so you can carry it with you so you can speak confessions. But this is how they start. This is my current one. And you can see I've written all over it and it's all messy, handwritten stuff. And these are my confessions and decrees. It says that it, when you acknowledge everything that, every good thing that's in you, and the word of God is in me, and I have all things for life and godliness. When I confess and say that they're mine, that makes my faith grow. And also is the seed inside of me that produces the harvest. In other words, if you're believing for healing, you have to take the word, which is seed, and say, by the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. Uh, uh, God withholds no good thing from me. 2,000 years ago, when he died on the cross, he took my sicknesses and diseases. And I'm speaking the word, and that seed of the word produces the harvest of what I'm saying. So if I say that I'm healed, then the fruit of saying I'm healed from the seed of the word is healing. So do the experiment and find some scriptures, what God says about you, and start confessing them. Just take 30 seconds every day and <clears throat> read out loud confessions. These are these are some of mine. Let me read my favorite ones that I have here. I gotta find them here. Um, I know what they are by heart because I I say them almost every day. I especially say them when I take communion. Okay. I say, God's life abides in me. As he is, so am I in this world. I am partakers of his divine nature. I do greater works than Jesus. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me. It makes alive my spirit. So therefore... I have a healthy body, a strong body, and whatever is wrong with me, I say I have it healed. And I say God withholds no good thing from me. I don't lack any good thing. I have all spiritual blessings. 
everything he has given me for life and godliness. He freely gives me all things. I am heir of the world. I have all power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. I am no longer in bondage to fear. I have authority and power over all the power of the enemy. I cast out demons and they go. I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I raise the dead and they raise up. So I confess these things over me. I decree and declare these things over me. And because the word is in me and I'm speaking the word and the word is seed, it produces a harvest. And so we are born again by uncorruptible seed. And it's so important to grasp what that means. Anyway, this light behind me is probably annoying to you. Um, so get my book on Kingdom Confessions that, that has it real thick and it has all kinds of confessions in it. Sometimes I carry that with me instead of my little confession booklet here. And uh, especially when I want to confess kingdom principles and stuff. <clears throat> um, but anyway, you are born again by incorruptible seed. Just like he has given you the measure of faith, you don't need more faith. You have all the faith that you need to do everything that you that God has said that we could do. It's just you need to use it. You just need to use it or you need to get knowledge. My people die for a lack of knowledge. So if you don't have knowledge about what the blood of Jesus has made available for you, then you won't receive it. You won't have faith for it. So get knowledge. Uh, read books. Read the Word of God. Study the Word of God. Pray in tongues to get that knowledge. So my name is robinbremer.net. I'm go on my website, get some of my books. Uh, I give them away free all the time uh, on Amazon, through Kindle, whatever. I give them away free. Uh, and have a blessed, prosperous day. And I will talk to you later. Share this with your friends here at social media sites and so on. And I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day.